Tell us, uh, yep. tell us about the situation between Australia and China now. You must be very, uh, uh, very supportive of the way Scott Morrison has stood up to China over the investigation. Oh. And, uh, I am. and we are and paying all the a price. Other countries that, that come on board. Yeah, and there's no doubt yeah. we're paying a price to that leadership. Why is it so many now the critics are saying the government shouldn't have done this? I thought they always wanted to, Australia to, to lead on international issues, but now they're saying we should hide behind someone else's skirts. I couldn't give a damn about the critics, Chris. Uh, I'll tell you the truth. Because the whole fact is that Morrison has shown leadership here. They've gone, put the, the foot forward and in. in making China held to account, which they should do. I know the tariffs have gone up on barley 80%. You know what we should do? Stop the export of baby formula to China. You know what? The, the people in China would be irate over that. China needs to, to cop a bit back. So if we stop the export of baby formula to China, let's see the retaliation, what would happen there. I believe in standing your ground. We need to know what has happened in the world with coronavirus. If China is responsible for it, then we actually have to put the spotlight in on them and show it up for what it is. Well, there's a bit to unpack there. Uh, certainly, uh, we should stand our ground. But when you talk about going down some retaliatory uh, measure, that's one argument. No. But baby powder? No. This is something... If you were to do that, you'd be directly hurting Chinese children. No, because baby powder has been bought up off the shelves in our supermarkets where Australian mothers can't get the baby formula themselves. It has been exported overseas for a huge profit and this woman's been picked up in Australia for actually getting people who are stealing it out of the shops and selling it back to her and she's selling it overseas. Now, I'm sorry, we actually have to take a strong stance here. Stop the baby formula being exported out of the country. If they want to do... If they want it, they go directly to the company and they actually buy it directly from the formula company here in Australia, not having those Chinese in Australia or Chinese students who are buying it and then selling it. Yeah, um, well, that's a different issue. I mean, I think, I think the official and, uh, and uh, official open, transparent uh, baby formula exports have got to continue, right? You're just trying to get rid of this, uh, this unofficial looting of, uh, of uh, supermarkets, effectively. And you cannot, you cannot, um, you know, post it over there. That has to be a complete stop to it. If it's seen to be posted out of the country, it is confiscated and it's not allowed to go across. Isn't the it's, appro it's simple as that? Isn't the appropriate response here from Australia really just to stand our ground, to say that uh, we want to deal with this sensibly with the rest of the international community and just not get into a tit for tat? Because we don't think that this sort of uh, behaviour is responsible. So why why should we stoop to that level, uh, which would only invite more of it anyway? Well, as long as China is pushing for the WHO organisation to hold the inquiry. They don't want the European Union to hold it. Why? Because WHO is in their back pocket as well. So I don't want to see deals that have been done because there's, uh, Ted Ross is actually, you know, so um, in the back pocket of the Chinese government. I don't trust him. He should be gone out of his position as, as head of the WHO organisation and hopefully that um, an open inquiry, because that's what the people of this world want, an open, fair inquiry into it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the crucial point. The details yet to be worked through. If it's going to be overseen by the WHO, then obviously you want other countries and expertise in there. But Donald Trump today has threatened. He's given the, the WHO... 30 days to deliver significant reforms or he's going to withdraw from it and cease their funding permanently. Do you support that ultimatum? Of course I do. Of course I do. We all know that WHO has not handled this whole thing um, in the best interest of, of the world as a global, um, you know, globally, and uh, who are in the back pocket of the Chinese. So as far as I'm concerned, I totally agree with Donald Trump. The, the impact this has had on the, the world with the deaths that's happened, the economic impact on every country, you know, people want answers to this. Um, they're sick of the political spin that's put on it. They want strong leaders and, uh, and, I, and I support Morrison. Be strong here, stand your ground and um, let's take on China now. I've got a problem with China, right? You know, they run their country the way they don't run... They want to run their country. But they have spread their tentacles throughout the world. They think they have control over it. If you don't do what we say, we're actually going to put in, you know, put these high tariffs or whatever on your trade. And I think it stinks.